I am from this lovely province of Newfoundland and Labrador, both parts. I grew up in Labrador until I was the age of 12, you know, which is when people think they're grown up anyway, 12, 13. <laughs> At that point, um, actually, I really enjoyed my childhood in Labrador. I got to live a very rustic kind of life, very simple with stuff like wood stoves and hauling our water and barrels from the brook. I also got to experience my uncle's skinning wolves and partridge hunting, and right now I am a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, I really have to credit my upbringing in Labrador for how I turned out, but skip a few years. At 12, like I said, I did move to Newfoundland. Um, I grew up a bit more, and what I'm really going to focus on is what I've been kind of doing lately, like the past year or so. This time last year, actually, I was in Europe. I went for 64 days. I learned a lot about, well, I can't really say a lot. I learned a little bit more about the world, a little bit about myself, a little bit about different types of people. And when I came home, I was kind of full with a lot of vigor with, um, trying new things in my life, so I decided to make 2009 the year of personal development. And with that, I've kind of been focusing on three different areas. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is one thing I discovered about backpacking through Europe with 12 kilograms of possessions is that you don't really need a lot of possessions. So when I moved home, I donated a lot of my things to charity. One of those things was my hair. I did the shave for the brave in March, and I'm considering doing it again this March. We'll see. Not really sure yet. Um, another one of those things is, as I mentioned, I'm a vegetarian. Um, some of that was from, I guess, compassion for animals. A lot of it actually had to do with healthy living. So another one of my aspects that I've been working on uh, is healthy living. So through like diet and being active. So, like Alec, I ran the Tele 10 for the first time this year. I ran it in two hours, 15 minutes. I'm not a cheetah, but I didn't stop. That was kind of my mantra. I'm not stopping. Another, well, that's the active part of it. Um, through the healthy living part, um, the eating part, I am a vegetarian, like I said. I've also tried raw veganism for 18 days. It was an interesting experience. Not a raw vegan. I also tried <laughs> veganism for six months, but I decided that life is not worth living without milk chocolate. <laughs> so I'm now a vegan who cheats a whole lot. <laughs> my last, I'm not sure if I've, yes, my last aspect of kind of this personal development year is trying out new things, eventually hopefully leading to a career development. So over the last year I have done a bunch of courses and learned new things. I have learned to run, ballroom dancing, to swim. I have taken wall climbing lessons, drawing lessons, Accordion lessons are actually about to start soon. It's kind of, you know, my Newfoundland heritage. I'm actually writing a novel right now. It's 7,000 words in and kind of rough going, but I'm working on it. And I'm right here, standing in front of you guys doing a speech. I'm not the most voluble person ever, but I am working on it. And I am very excited to be here and working on myself. As this year comes to a close, this year of personal development is not coming to a close, and I look forward to working more on myself and actually encouraging other people to work on themselves too. As I said earlier in my table topics, know yourself. I think it's a very important thing, and that is my introduction. Thank you.